Hey everyone, and welcome to the video. I'm North Central, it's my camper, and yes, we are finally camping. We are at Beach Fork, a West Virginia State Park and Campground. And of course, we are in the campground. This is site number 210, and it is a big site. I'll show you how big this is. So this is the pad for the site beside us. And you can see our site is huge. Their site is actually in front of us over here. Let me get a show of that. But I've heard of it being done and I've never actually done it, but I did it here. I actually have my camper level without using any leveling blocks. I was really quite surprised. This is a level site. Didn't have to do anything, put anything under the tires. I just chopped it up, just leveling it front to back. And that was it, I was done. Put my stabilizers down and we're good to go. So don't mind the mess. We are still in the process of setting things up. We just got here maybe an hour or so ago, but this is the Beach Fork Lake. Guy out here already kayaking and fishing. The doggies in the background, that's Anna. The little white wonder over here is Molly. This is my daughter's dog. Her name is Remington Bell, we call her Remy. My youngest son and his friend have taken the kayaks and they're out kayaking somewhere on the lake. I really just wanted to go over this campground. Got two trees here to where I was able to put up my hammock. Nice, big, big site. My camper is a 28 BHS. It is overall from bumper to hitch. It is 33 and a half feet long. So as you can see, you can fit a pretty good size rig here and still have my truck on the pad. Um, it's, it's right at the very end of it, but it's there. Uh, and then my wife's car is uh, beside us. Yeah, just, uh, just 30 amp, had to use a dog bone. But 30 amp with 110, and it is, uh, the 110 is GFCI'd. Box could use a little bit of uh, repair on it. So I had to pull out my dog bone and go from uh, 30 amp you know, my camper is 50 amp. So, got to kind of watch what we what we run. But other than that, you know, most of the campgrounds here in West Virginia are 30 amp. But the sites are, as far as I can see, all of them are paved, at least where the camper goes. And then here with the firing, uh, this is all kind of a dirt and gravel, muddy little spot. But here's the view that I got. Nice shade trees here. When the sun comes out, it can keep nice and Nice and cool in the shade. The wind comes off the lake. Of course, there's a big campground. A campground over there. The only negative that I could say that there really comes with this campground. And there's a whole lot of goose poop. And when I say a whole lot, I mean there's a whole lot. So all I've done is pick up goose poop for about the last hours where we can walk around without getting it on our shoes. But that's okay. It's okay. It's still a nice place. It's nice to be camping. Uh, first camping trip of the season. And that's that. Hope you found this video helpful as far as the Beach Fork campsite number 210. Come here by the hammock. Big, 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 big space. And until next time, thanks for watching.